Can you keep a secret? Changing hearts and minds. Changing. 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 Changing hearts and minds. Changing, Changing hearts and minds. Welcome to Change Your POV Podcast. You're listening to Changing Hearts and Minds, a show about reviving the warrior spirit and remembering the past to improve our future. I'm your host, Jeff Adamick. Let's get this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, am I totally screwed or what? <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. I want to discuss all this behavior. Let me out of here! Welcome to Changing Hearts and Minds, episode one. I'm your host, Jeff Adamick, and this is the very first episode and will serve as the instructional episode for the episodes coming up next. And I'm Eddie Lazary, founder and co-host of Change Your POV Podcast Network. My co-host, Bennett Santon, and I knew that we needed a show like Changing Hearts and Minds to reach a larger segment of the veteran population, and no one better to be the host and voice of this show than Jeff. This podcast show is about thinking outside the box, learning, and bringing attention to those in our communities who are still helping others through their continued services to their fellow veterans and other veteran organizations. Also, we wa- we're here to keep the memories of our military history alive through highlighting the history and war- of warfare at both conventional and unconventional. In addition to Change Your POV podcast, we'll bring a new set of content and perspective to our already existing weekly shows. We firmly believe that perspective is the vantage point of success, and it takes someone like Jeff with his experience and passion to give back to the veteran community to deliver this unique perspective. Jeff is a seasoned Army combat veteran, Army Ranger, and Special Forces operator with six deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan with a ton of awards and accolades. And, well, you will learn a lot more about Jeff here in a minute. But I say this all about Jeff, not to dowse you with his impressive military resume, but to bring some perspective about Jeff. So later, as the Changing Hearts and Minds show develops and you get to know Jeff better, you will see how vulnerable even the most hardened combat veteran can be. And yes, folks, none of us can do it alone. On this introductory episode, we're giving you, the listener, an audio table of contents and a little bit of a teaser of the show. The things you can expect from future episodes of Changing Hearts and Minds, or as we're going to be calling it for now on, CHM, because, well, we're veterans, and if uh, we can't go ahead and just abbreviate something and make it sound really cool, then we're going to be missing out on one of life's little bitty pleasures. (laughs) That's right. And true, true, true. And you will also hear Jeff say the phrase, it's all about the little victories. It's all about the little victories, Eddie. It is all about the little victories. Here's a little bit more about the host of Changing Hearts and Minds. Jeff, give us a little bit. All right, well, who am I? Well, simply put, I'm a husband and a father. I've been married for over 20 years to my best friend, and we have two beautiful children who mean the world to me and my wife. Um, We spend 90% of our free time, which is only about 1% of all of our time, doing stuff with our kids. But I'm well aware that everyone right now is sitting at home yawning and trying to look for the next podcast to put on because that's not what you came here to hear. You want to hear about the other stuff. All right. I'm a U.S. Army combat veteran. I've been medically retired after 18 years of active duty service. I got out as a a, a sergeant first class. I was a medic in the 82nd Airborne Division, a ranger medic in the 2nd Battalion of the 75th Ranger Regiment, and finally, a weapons sergeant, 3rd Special Forces Group. I served in both Iraq and Afghanistan multiple times, as Eddie said. I was wounded in 2009 and retired medically in 2013 after not completely recovering from my wounds. And yes, my wounds were not just physical, but they were also wounds that were emotional. And as we said before, you will learn quickly that you can be very vulnerable no matter what you do in your life. I currently work full-time as an information technology professional in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm a full-time honors college student. I believe, and I honestly believe, we're still able to serve others no matter what we do, as long as we provide value through whatever endeavors we take on. Absolutely. So how are we qualified to talk about any of this? Well, in addition to Jeff's wealth of knowledge and experience, I have 10 years of active duty service 
as a senior squad leader in Baghdad, Iraq. I hold an MBA from Southern New Hampshire University. I've owned my own business. I've worked as a corrections officer. I've worked in the aerospace defense contracting industry as a manufacturing and hiring manager. I've reviewed thousands of resumes and interviewed hundreds of candidates. And yes, many of whom were veterans. How qualified am I? Well, I may not be as qualified as Eddie is to talk about HR and resumes. What, what I am qualified about is I am qualified to tell you all that when you get out of the military, it's not easy. No matter what you did in the military, no matter what, how strong of a person you are, it's not easy to get out and find yourself once you get out. And if any of you have any doubts about that, I recommend you go back to Change Your POV Podcast, episode 154, and listen to the story that that gentleman talks about on there and how he was able to struggle and find himself even though he was lost. And here's another spoiler alert for you guys. We're talking about me, and that was the first episode that I was on with Eddie. So how am I qualified now? Well, I'm qualified now because I've been there, I've done that, and I've got a unique perspective because I'm the guy who said it was okay to ask for help. I'm the guy who said it's okay to reach across the table. I'm that guy in Congress that the Democrats and the Republicans hate because I sit right in the middle of the aisle and I shake my hands on both sides. And you call yourself a gentleman. Yeah, well, I mean... It's all about the little victories. I got to lie to keep the women in. <laughs> yeah, it's little in the victories. Show. Love it. So, why are we podcasting? Great question. Well, me personally, I got into podcasting because, well, I like to talk and I have a message to share that I feel will bring value to the veteran community. You see, in 2005, when I got out of the Army, I struggled big time. I struggled finding my place, fitting in, being a part of something bigger than myself. I wanted something, anything to help guide me through the simple things that came so easy to everyone else around me. I strive every day to be that resource that I wish I had so many years ago. And I just started out on this journey in podcasting because, let's face it, I really like listening to podcasting as I drive my hour and a half to work every morning. And recently I had become somebody who had been seek sought out by other organizations to come in and talk to, to different people about leadership and about transitioning. So I got into podcasting pretty much because I met Eddie and Bennett, and they gave me an outlet and a platform to go out and tell my story, and because they become such good friends of mine, and because I pretty much browbeat them into it, they allowed me to come on the show and have my own little piece of the Changer POV network, so that instead of calling them up and complaining and, and whining, I can just get on here and do it to you guys. Your own little piece of heaven, right? My own little piece of heaven. So what is Changing Hearts and Minds all about? Changing Hearts and Minds is really about just what the title of the show says. Every single person has the way that they look at the world, the way that they think, the way they've been taught to think. We're not always right, guys. Most of the time, some of the thought processes we have and the things that we believe are not correct. But that doesn't mean that we're bad people. It just means that we've got to find a new way of thinking. Changing Hearts and Minds is about going out there and taking the conventional methods of thinking, the things that you've been taught your entire life that may not be true, and giving you a different perspective so that you can go out into the world with your eyes open wide and be successful and better equipped to handle the world as it is and to help others. Amen. And I know all the listening audience is, is asking themselves right now, what can I expect from listening to this show? Can you talk to us about the format and schedule? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what you can expect is a little bit of the norm of what you've been getting. You're going to get some interviews. You're going to get people that are involved in veteran resource organizations or people that are doing great things out there helping people. You're also going to get some entrepreneurs that are going out there and trying to assist them, assist themselves and others by going out there and taking on business. What else you're going to get from this show is you're going to get these episodes that happen every other episode where we're going to go in a little bit into the military history. We're going to re-look at the culture that made us love the military so much and we're going to revisit some of them stories and maybe actually you're going to learn some things about some of the history of the United States military, and not just the United States military, but military in general, that you didn't know before and that others didn't know before, in hopes that we can not just draw in the audience of the people who know these things already and love it, but the audience of the people who want to learn these kind of things. We can get them inside, listen into those episodes, and maybe they'll stick around for a couple of the other episodes where they'll learn a little bit about the veterans around them, and that'll help bridge that gap and change their hearts and minds to be able to more accept and better love what's going on with the soldiers and the veterans in today's, in today's United States. Absolutely. And so why should the listening audience subscribe to the Change Your POV podcast network? What is in it for them? Well, besides the fact that there is plenty of great content that's being provided by guys like Eddie Bennett and Dwayne and uh, new to the show, new to the network, Andrew, 
but also you get to go onto the website, participate in reading blogs, you get to be a part of the network itself. And the best benefit is you get to go on and find pictures of me. And those <laughs> pictures can be blown up and hung over your wall. They can be mailed to others with your name on them saying that you're that person. You can catfish people with it. No, do not catfish people with my photograph. <laughs> Believe me, you do not want to use my photo to try to pick up women. My wife was – I had to damn near fool her into marrying me, so do not <laughs> fall for that trick. But no, but seriously, you're going to get the benefit of the years and years of experience that all the people in Change Your POV have about getting out into the civilian world, about their military experiences, about leadership, about HR, about writing resumes, about getting a job, taking chances, going out and becoming an entrepreneur, getting your head right getting your heart right, and going out there and finding things to do that are going to be beneficial for you, your family, and your people that are around you. That's what you're going to get from Change Your POV Podcast. And if you're not getting that from us, then you need to get on one of our, our websites and you need to blog us, write us, and tell us you're not getting that so that we can get you guys the content that you want. Absolutely. And also by subscribing to the show, it ensures that you will never miss a single episode and you will get all the great content that we work so hard to bring you every single week. And We've recently launched our Patreon page. It's a way for listening listening audience and just fans of all of our shows to go on and give back. We, we like to say, give back to veterans who are giving back to veterans. It's very cyclical, folks. Actually, doesn't and, Bennett like to say, just give me your money? Well, yeah. Well, that's a different URL. Oh, we'll, we'll, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. We'll, we'll, My bad. I'll give you both URLs here at the, <laughs> at the, at the end here. But so here's what's cool about Patreon. There's four different pledge levels, a dollar. $3, $5, and $10, and you can choose whichever pledge level you want or more, and as you choose whichever pledge level that you want to give to, uh, you unlock a set of bonuses. What's really cool is up to this point, Bennett and I have been providing unique content to the Patreon page, but now that we've got a network of awesome hosts, they are also going to be providing their own unique content to the Patreon page in the, in the form of, I think we're actually going to talk about doing a Change Your POV podcast network calendar where... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 stop a second. Stop a second. Are, are, yeah. are you telling me that we are actually going to do a calendar? That the, I think that the, the listeners of the Change Your POV podcast network are going to have the joy, the luck, and the, the manhood of having pictures of Dwayne France's bald head and giant mustache Yes. Right next to the next month where it's going to be Bennett Tanton with an Indian headdress on and some some assless chaps just to turn the next page and see me <laughs> riding a donkey. And yes. guys, let me tell you, when you see pictures of me riding a donkey, I'm wearing nothing but a sock and the sock isn't <laughs> on my foot. Listen, I'm going to be wrapped in cellophane mm. with uh, not completely, just halfway. And the rest of me will be in whipped cream. I Praise think we're going to make... I think this is going to be an excellent calendar. <laughs> Folks, it'll be something like you've never seen before, I guarantee it. Uh, we want you to become a part of our community, and you can do that very easily by heading over to Facebook. We've got a Facebook group just for you at uh, Change Your POV Squad, because you are, folks, uh, the squad members of the Change Your POV Podcast Network. And there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens over there, along with really good stuff, too. Great feedback, lots of engagement. We're always throwing up all kinds of crazy stuff for everybody to kind of get involved and uh, be part of the community, right? Oh, the community is the most important part. And let's, uh, let's be honest right now and up front. Just because you're not military or you're not one of the, the masculine males from the military doesn't mean you can't be a part of this. You know, there are plenty of family members out there, people who know people in the military, women that have served in the military, old people, young people. It doesn't matter if you're part of this war or if you're part of the War of 1812. You can benefit and get so much from our podcast and from our network and from all the assistance that you're going to get from guys like me, Eddie, Bennett, Dwayne, and Andrew. The bottom line is, guys, is I've only known these guys for three, four months, and they have given me so much and taught me so much in that short period of time that somebody like me who knows everything, just ask my wife. She'll tell you that I know everything. <laughs> if I can learn stuff from these guys, just imagine what you can be able to learn from us and be able to move on. It, one day, we're going to be coming to you for help because of all the stuff you learned from us. And this is the only way that we're going to be able to hold you accountable and say, look, man, we helped you out. Now you need to help us. So believe me, don't, do not limit yourself. Do not self-select yourself out of being part of the Change Your POV squad. Reach out to us. Come join our squad. Get, a, get involved with us. And we're, we're going to give you exactly what you guys get, 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 get out of it. You know, The more you put in, the more you're going to get out of this entire experience. 
Absolutely. And so those URLs that we were talking about to learn more about how to give back to Patreon or to give back to us through Patreon is if you go over to changeyourpov.com forward slash support us. That's that'll take you to a page where you can watch a video. You can even download a PDF file of a uh, little uh, image or graphic of what each of the uh, pledge levels entails and all the bonus features that you'll get by pledging. Uh, or if you want to skip all that and you're just you're sold, we've we've given you the Kool Aid and you're drinking, then you can just head on over to changerpov.com forward slash give. <laughs> what did what is it? Take my money. That's what it is. Changerpov.com forward slash take my money. And, yeah, Jeff, and if you really like the Kool Aid, you can just jump on there with me because what kind of Kool Aid do I like? Red. I like red Kool Aid. <laughs> red Kool Aid. You like the the little. Red smile that it gives you after you're done drinking it, don't you? The little little Joker smile you've got going on there. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, you were telling me before we went live here that there is a is a saying. I think it's in Latin. Is it not? Yes, it is in Latin. Uh, the Green Beret motto. The Green Beret motto in Latin is pronounced "Di oppresso liber." And you're going to hear me say this a lot, and it's probably going to be at the end of every show. I'm going to close out with it. Uh, I have two uh, Latin mottos that I like to use, but the main one you're going to hear is de oppressa liber. What that means is to free the oppressed, which is what the, the Green Berets were originally designed to do. Go into these oppressed countries, train up the local nationals to fight and set up their own governments, just like we did when we were the, when we were the 3% way back in the 1770s. So de oppressa liber means to free the oppressed. Every time you hear me say, go out there, you know, release your oppressed mind, de oppressively bear, you'll know that's the sign off. So, Eddie, I want to thank you for being on today's first show. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. And I really am excited to hear everything that you're going to bring to the Change Your POV podcasting network. I'm going to bring as much as I can. Check our website to see when the next episode is going to be popping up. And uh, everybody, de oppressively bear. Change your POV and all of its shows can help and heal and even educate. We want you to help us help others. Visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash changeyourpov. Become a patron of our network and our mission. 